Take one. Take one. Take <laughs> one. Last supper on. Jesus and his 12 disciples were there. They were celebrating the Passover. Do you know how many disciples there? A couple. Seven. Twelve. There's a lot of them. There was 12 disciples. Simon. Philip. James. Judas. I know one is that. Matthew. Bartholomew. <laughs> and another one, his name is Andrew. John. Peter. And that's about it. Twelve disciples ate supper, and they all ate in quiet silence because... Mm -hmm. Some of the people wanted to kill Jesus. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to talk to about though. Oh, they were worried. Like they were confused about that, that he was going to be crucified. Because he was getting so popular. Jesus said, the one I give the bread to will betray me tonight. They were asking, what do you mean? Why would he be crucified? Because he was like almighty powerful like type thing. What do you think they were eating? Last night, we ate taco. They'd be marshmallows. Or carrots. They were eating bread and drinking wine. And Jesus broke the bread. This is my body. Take, eat, remember Break, and believe. Eat. Then he got a cup and he said, this was my blood. Take, drink, remember and believe. And then he said, now you are with me. After a while, Jesus left the table and he started to wash the disciples' feet. And usually probably your feet get really dirty if you're traveling, you only have sandals, no cars or anything like that. Well, one disciple said, don't wash my feet. Peter. Peter. He asked um, Jesus, why did you wash my feet? Because he didn't feel right. Yeah. He said, like, you're more important than me. I should be doing washing your feet. And then Jesus said, um, uh, I have to. Because if he didn't wash their feet, then they won't be with him. And then, um, Peter said, wash my feet, my hands, and... My body. And Jesus said, "Here, um, I'll wash your feet, and um, and um, it'll wash your whole body." <laughs> this is Carson. You take a bath. That's how you wash your feet, right? He put his clothes back on and sat at the table again. Then. He went to a pretty garden. Um, he prayed on the Mount of Olives. Um, asked God to, like, that there be some other way than him dying on the cross. And Judas was after money to be, to arrest Jesus. And then Judas took the money. Five dollars. I think, um, he wanted to arrest him because he might have not like Jesus, but he he might have been pretending to like Jesus. And like one of them, Peter chopped off one of the guy's ears, and Jesus put it back on. Probably like put him in handcuffs or something. Then what happened? They they dragged Jesus away and they threw him in prison. They took Jesus. <sighs> what did he do wrong? He's innocent. He's innocent, probably, yeah. He's saying that he's God, but they don't believe that. And if someone's saying they're God and they don't believe that, they're probably going to get mad at him. And they went to the pilot and then asked him if they wanted, if they should crucify him. And he said, I don't care what you do with him. Hmm. I thought they were friends. 
some people are cheering. They had horses. And cheering for like this. And like he was marked. And then they also whipped him. They spit on him too. They beat him and they kept teasing him. He had to hold a cross. Then they put a they put, put thorns a on. on his head. They put thorns on his head. They nailed them to the cross and he died. Um, after he died on the cross, he was put in a tomb. And it looked like uh, it was the Grox. Mm -hmm. Yes! And then a big stone rolled over the entrance. An angel came down and rolled the stone away from the tomb. Day three when Jesus come alive again. A day free. Guards were so afraid because they're not really used to people coming from the dead and angels randomly flashing in front of them. Then, then three ladies came with spices and oils. When they were walking to the tomb, they found the stone rolled away and they went inside the tomb and they found that he was gone. And the angel said, um, who was there too? Hmm? I think there was two. Is that about angels? How many angels? Yeah. I think there was just one. Yeah, or two. Whatever. <laughs> when the angel came, he said, she, she said, um, the angel said, do not be afraid. And he, or she said, Jesus is not dead, he's alive. Why? What? Why? What? 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 What is happening? They all fell to their faces on the ground and worship. The angel told them to go back to the disciples. So they did. But some people didn't believe her. They told the disciples, and they were kind of confused. They said, mm -hmm. uh. And then a few days later, they were in the house, and then Jesus came in and said, Peace be with you. And they didn't know how he came in because they had the doors locked. It was a private meeting. Jesus, is that really you? I have risen, and I'm not a ghost. Then Jesus said, Why are you looking at me like a, you've seen a ghost? Look at the scars on my hands and feet. Thomas or something? I think it's like one of them put his finger in it. Jesus said, um, Touch my hand, hands and my feet. Um, and then you'll actually believe it's me. They said, um, Jesus is alive. Wow, look, there's Jesus. Wow, oh, look at me. Right now, Jesus is right next to us. After like 40 days, he, um, he went to the hill. They said, um, God, God, stay, please. Why are you doing this? Why do you have to go? He said, at the end of the world, I will come back. And then, two clouds covered him. They took him just die. And then, they kept on staring at him. And then the angel said, Why are you staring up at the sky? Jesus has gone into heaven. The angels came and said, Do not be sad because he, he will come back to earth another day.